This is Mike Rowe from Dirty Job. What's up, guys? <laughs> Take a break, you guys. You're killing yourself on this job. <laughs> Take a break. Take a break. Man with Take the knees. <laughs> uh, too funny. Tell us about returning the favor, your Facebook show. Oh, it's the feel-good hit of the summer, Jay. Oh, my God. You have those moments where you cry and you, your lip quivers and you feel really good about the species. Go here, man. People go to my Facebook page. They nominate these bloody do-gooders. Thank you, Pastor, for reaching out and nominating Latanya. And we show up with a crew. I get to hang out with them. They think they're in a documentary or something. And then at the end of the day, we do something really nice for them. $25,000 just to keep the documentary alive. That lets them do more of what they've been doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like the fact that you use the sarcasm as a defense mechanism to hide the fact you actually like to do good things. <laughs> I don't mind real, you know, genuine moments. Those are great. Right, right. You just don't want to manufacture. Don't want to force them. Right, right. Honestly, it, it, we were kind of freaked out. The show's got 380 million downloads, which is bigger than anything I've ever done. That's and, great. And on the other hand, nobody knows about it. So it's, <laughs> it's just a very well, weird no, world. Everybody knows about it. You have 383 million downloads. But they're all my mother. Yeah, but yeah, she's, yeah. I mean, she literally watches the thing constantly. But at least your mother gets what it is you do. That was my life, it's embarrassing my mother. Right. Now, my, my seatbelt just tightened up inexplicably. Did yours? No. Jay, I can't be sure, but I do believe my detective senses tell me that my my trailer, my beloved trailer, may have been burgled. Burgled? Is that even a word? It might not be a word, but I'm telling you. But I yeah, I remember an episode where that actually happened on the Rocks and Frost. And what you're saying is it's happening now? I don't know who would want to break into my modest trailer. Because as you've seen, it, it's modest. Right. I right. don't have anything in there. You're not gonna find any wipers for a Ford uh, Edge, <laughs> that's for sure. Unlikely. Yeah, unlikely. Well, let's see. Hey, there's a car. I yeah. told you, I told you. There's a guy in your trailer. Now look at him. Unbelievable. Hey! Oh my God, he's gonna break his neck. <laughs> I think that's one of the Parcheesi family. He would have to be. That gate, that outfit, that hat. Let's get this guy! I'm trying to. Put the mail, put the mail. There's more and more women getting into doing action scenes in movies. So consequently, there's more work for stunt women. There's actually quite a bit of work for women on motorcycles. Have you ever been hurt doing stunts? I have a laundry list of injuries oh, really? and yeah. surgeries. Have I've you broken any limbs? I've probably yeah. broken all of them. Wow, really? <laughs> I think we're getting close to Quail Canyon motocross track. You want to take this on the track and see what you'll do? Yeah, we're coming up to what I love to do. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Sounds good. Here we are. I'll go watch them up there. And uh, let's see what this thing can do. No problem. Go for it. Yeah. It's better than having a real job. Mm, nice. Feeling a little better about, about our chances. Feeling better? Yeah, yeah. We've got something that's going to go pretty quick here. Good, good. Because, you know, it couldn't go worse on the last one. Right? Oh, yeah. So we're definitely a pretty late model vehicle. Well, that's correct. Let's start it up. Definitely a Ford Mustang type sound. Interesting. I didn't get that. <laughs> this is something everybody wants to drive, I know that. Distinctive sound. It has all the, the qualities of like a track day car. I couldn't feel a back seat. No backseat. I'm thinking it's a Ford. Yeah, I will grant you that. It is a Ford. I mean, it's got Mustang written all over it. it has an 8,400 RPM red line. That's nice. Wow. Mind if I touch your steering wheel, Jay? You may touch my steering wheel. OK. So I was looking for like a, a Ford emblem. So it, uh -huh. it's teaching me that it's the Shelby emblem there. OK. 
you think you're ready to make a guess already? 350R? It is a 350R, 350R. that's correct. You can take off your blindfold. Okay. There you go. Very good, you redeemed yourself after that horrible Mercedes. That Mercedes. Well, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> well, Kurt, thanks for playing the game, my friend. I feel like today was a new experience and that you're my long lost Uncle Jay that I never that's right. had. That's right, that's right. Yeah, there you go. this because it's the shock of the new you know it's it doesn't make any noise it's incredibly fast and with this I plug it in for a couple of hours and it's the same as cooking a turkey there is still a bit of the aspect of an amusement park ride yeah. about an electric sports car because right. it does everything you expect it to do but you're not hearing what you expect to hear along right. with it and I have to confess that I'm somebody who is slow to the embracing of electric vehicles. As a singer, the music of the car counts for as much as the feel and the handling and right. the looks of the car. Right, that makes sense. But it doesn't mean this isn't fun. <laughs> and for all intents and purposes, it costs you nothing to run. After you buy it, you're set. I think that we'll look back in time at this Tesla Roadster as the yeah. first real usable fun electric car to drive. Yeah, I, I believe that's true. I just put my foot down and you go. That instant torque, that surge of power, something that's faster and more powerful makes you feel faster and more powerful. It's as if we're going to warp speed. Skid plate races are normally 25 to 35 laps, but today I'm just hoping I can make it through three. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Green, green, green. Let's do it. Oh. Is it still running, Jay? Yeah, we're all right. OK, not the best way to start a race. But you better believe I won't be letting that happen one more time. Oh, boy. Sorry about that. Whoa, slide like crazy. <laughs> Well, I didn't let it happen one more time. I let it happen five more times. Boy, this thing is sliding all over the track. We haven't even done one lap yet. So, Jay, pretend like there's a glass of wine on the dash. Violent action, violent reaction with the throttle. Real smooth movement. It'll actually stable out if you go just a little bit quicker. It's like dragging a trailer, right? No more speed will drag the trailer straighter. Oh boy, it's it's really dancing. Keep going, Jay. Good job. Good job. Keep going. We're getting there. Hey, Jay. Stay right there in the middle of the track. Stay off the bottom. You come into the turn, ease off the gas. Don't all the way off the gas. Are you having fun in there, Jay? What do you think? Starting to get the hang of it here. You can carry probably a little more speed if you feel comfortable. <laughs> Just when you think you got it. Yeah, right, keep rolling. Just keep rolling, Jay. Gather yourself back up. Gather yourself back up. Gas it up. Gas it up. Keep it sideways. Gas it up. Jay, looking good, man. I think I'm going to pass somebody. Work through them. That looks good. We're catching them. We're catching Keep it up. Doing great. Gas it up a little bit, Jay. Gas it up. Gas it up. Gas it up. There you go. Hey, on the steering wheel. I know how you like to eat, and you also like to ride, but you yeah. say to yourself, how can you do both? Up to now, it was almost impossible, but now, so you can actually cook while you're riding. All right, I'm gonna put the burgers on. Start my burgers. The barbecue bike is fired up and ready to go. Time to get Alonzo headed down that hamburger highway. Go! I'm going to cook hamburgers on a motorcycle. I'm going to beat Jay grilling burgers. My burgers are definitely burning. This light's killing me. A train? Oh, I'm flipping. Nobody told me there was a train coming. Got a good flip. <laughs> Suck on that, Leno. My burgers are going to be delicious. He'll never know what hit him. Now it's time for me to test my culinary skills on the open road. 
All right, let's do this. Well, I love the smell of burgers cooking while you're riding a motorcycle. It's fabulous. It's like driving past a picnic every day. Do you have any great poupons? I'm thinking we could actually strap a hot dog to the exhaust pipe and cook it on that. Yeah, this could be a great delivery business. People call up, they order a burger, you throw it on, boom! Hot, juicy burgers delivered right to your door. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.